Hello, this is Savator, and I present to you the Black Mirror. We are here. I was going to the stables, and I remember that because I am just continuing. It's getting late here, but that's what you get. Oh, uh, why are you... Is that it? Let me see... Can I take a good other look at anything here? I don't think... To the stable! To the stable! Mm. Oh yes! Uh, uh, that's that. This is the place where William took his last breath. I doubt it. I won't it. leave before I find out the truth. I didn't think he did much breathing after he hit the floor. Hello, would you look at this, please? No, you wouldn't. And don't. Don't, don't, don't. Oh well. It's dry. No one has taken water from it in a long time. Hmm. It's used so seldom, it's locked up. Hmm. I know I've got to talk to that guy, but I want to look at the rest of you first. The humble abode of the groom is up there. I haven't any reason to go there. The, bed. the bags are full of dry hay. They should be carried off into the stable before it starts raining. Let's talk to that guy then. My name is Samuel Gordon. You are Morris, the groom, aren't you? Yes, sir. I know who you are. Bates told me about you. I would like to ask you about something, Morris. What can you tell me about Bates? What do you want to know about him? Well, I don't know exactly. He's different from when I knew him. To me, he seems to be the same all the time. The same old standoffish moat. Nice. He wasn't like that before. That's possible. I've only known him for the couple of years that I've worked here. So how many years have you been working here? Almost five. He sounds like someone with a Slavic accent in my ears. Might be Scottish, but... Doesn't sound like that. Morris, how did you get along with William? I don't think. Well, like a groom with the horse owner. Okay, I guess. He's only spoken a few sentences to me in all the time that I've been working here. I mean, I saw him very seldom. I see. Morris, you are right next to the old wing. Can you see inside the old tower from your room? What do you mean? I never go there. Who told you that? It was that old drunkard. Right? I was just asking, why are you so upset? I knew that Flores bastard was spreading <laughs> gossip about me again. He tells you anything. Don't believe him, sir. Ends to get smashed and talk out of his ass. Sure, but you've been to the old wing, right? Yes, but only out of curiosity. I've got no reason to go there. And it's a strange place anyway. What do you mean? Well, I haven't exactly got a good feeling about it. I feel like I'm being watched by something older than the centuries within those old damp walls. And the silence. 
It makes one feel as if one cannot speak. Frankly, I'm glad I don't have any work to do there. Morris, look here. Do you know this man? Hmm. I wouldn't say so. I've never seen him around here. Okay. Thank you. But I will go then. All right, sir. But you've seen him somewhere else? If not here? I don't think so. Not that I really remember, but... A horse? A rope? A bucket? Water for the horses. A haystack? I don't want to get dirty. Why not? There's enough light in here during the day. Hmm. Well, what's the point then? Oh, a hammer. Hmm. I should be able to get rid of the barrier boards on the door to the tower. Yes, sir. Uh, not that one. Nails, screws, nothing I need. Anything else? No. Not really. Red wine from our cellar. How did the bottle get here? <laughs> I'll ask Morris where he got it. Ha <laughs> what do you think? Empty glasses and paint cans. Nothing useful. Okay, a ladder. It appears stable, but I'm not going to climb up. Hay for the horses is in there, and that's Morris's responsibility. You are a wuss. It's rusty and has many holes. It's useless. Depends on what you want to carry. Uh. Can I right click it? No, I can't. Our family's coat of arms. Someone should repair it. That's pretty much it. Okay. Let me talk to him about the wine. Morris, do you have a moment? Sure. Morris, I've noticed you have a bottle of wine on your workbench in the stable. Wine? I sometimes take a sip when it's cold outside, but never during work. It appears to be our vintage red. Where did you get it? Well, uh, Sir William gave it to me. Some <gasps> ago, just this one bottle. Really? Yes, sir. All right, Morris. I do not believe that William would have given away some of our best wine. Morris must have gotten it some other way. I will go then. All right, sir. I... Yes. Um... All right, there is nothing left here to do, I think. I guess I could take a look around the rest of the garden while I'm here to the stairs. Hmm. To the main entrance to the right wing. Can I 
one. Uh, look, 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 look here. The window of my room. Hmm. Not really much. To the main gate. To the main entrance. Let me go down there. I don't think there's much down there, but anyway. Hmm. Smoke from the leaves smells nice. Mm -hmm. I'll imagine. Good morning. Hi. Good morning, sir. My name is Henry. I take care of the garden. It's not an easy job. I don't have anyone to help me. But you probably wanted to speak about something else, sir. What can I do for you, sir? I would just like to ask a few questions. How long have you been working here, Henry? About a year, sir. The garden seems rather deteriorated. Everything used to blossom around here, but now... I'm trying hard, sir, but I can't get everything done just by myself. This garden is really a lot of work, sir. Tell me, Henry, what did you think of William? I didn't really know him, sir. I'd scarcely seen him. You have worked here every day and you hardly saw him? Well, you see, Sir William wouldn't go to the garden very often, and I only do what Madame Victoria tells me. Bates was the only one allowed in his study. He wouldn't let anyone else in. Is there anything else you can tell me about him? I don't really feel like talking about him with you. Why not? Hmm. How would I put it? Plainly. Everyone reckoned he was a bit of a loony. You know what I mean. Go on. I don't really want to talk about it with you, sir. Please ask someone else. What does that mean? <laughs> Why would anybody <laughs> perceive William as mad? <laughs> Henry, do you recognize the man in this picture? Have you ever seen him? No, sir. I don't think I have. Who is it? Should I know him? No, uh, probably not. I just wanted to know if you had ever met him. I'm sorry, sir. I will leave you to your work. I'm just noticing the shape of the stands of the lamp. This is a, an arm ending in a claw. Seriously? Uh, yes. Hey. It Oops. looks like blood. How is this possible? Hmm. This is where the groundwood ends. Now it's empty. Hmm. Potentially problematic. They're full of leaves. Henry has plenty of work taking care of the garden. All those leaves will get burnt in the end. Okay. The wood is ready to go into the grinder. What sort of plants are these supposed to be anyway? The red ones? The I've door is locked. I'm pretty sure that doesn't exist. Move. Henry? Yes? Henry, I went to the greenhouse and found it locked. Why? I lock it during the day as well, just to be safe. To be safe. I don't want anyone wandering about the place and snooping in my stuff. Do we have strangers walking around here then? No, sir. That's not the problem. But I've seen Morris around there a couple times. They love each other. He's seems... got no business there. <laughs> the greenhouse and the garden are both my responsibilities. I usually lock it so that I can be sure nothing gets lost. But if you want to have a look inside, sir. I'll open it. No, I only wanted to know why it was locked. 
What could Morris be looking for in the greenhouse? Booze. Mm. <sighs> Henry, there's blood in the grinder in front of the greenhouse. Where did it come from? But that's impossible, sir. I only put branches in it. Are you quite sure? Hmm. Perhaps you're right. I probably imagined it. I should probably take a rest. Who knows what I've seen? I will leave you to your work. I wonder if I take another look what's in it. Let me see. I wanna know. There is nothing here. I could swear I had seen blood. Oh, joy. I'd better take my medication. I don't get that from headaches. Which is probably a good thing. Okay. Can you talk to him again? Tell him that there is no blood? I don't know what we could talk about. Alright, let's go. I have a hammer, but there is another part I haven't seen yet. And while I'm here, I'm going to take a good hard look at it. It must be centuries old. It invokes a rather queer feeling in me. Hmm. Yeah, that dead trees do that. One of the several large rocks in the garden. No one knows how they got here. They've been carried? Hmm. Ah, oh, yes, of course. Couldn't you just try and make a beeline for things for a change? The fallen tree has surrounded it completely. There's no way to reach it. It's awful to see the garden in such decay. Yeah, well, you're just wandering around. Why don't you help a bit? Its water used to be crystal clear. I'll tell Henry to clean it up. <coughs> it can't stay this dirty. Its water used to be... This is where the oldest trees grew. Victoria loved them so much. And this is what's left of them. Oh, worse. The rear path is completely blocked by bushes. I have to go around. Oh, yes. Let me talk to Henry about the phone. I don't know if I have to do this even, but... What does it matter? I think this is a little low. Hang on, I can look at that too. See? Yeah. I used to play in it when I was a little kid. Back then, it wasn't so stagnant and neglected. Okay, let's go see Henry and tell him about the fountain. Hang on, there was something else that flared. Or was that just that? That was just that. Ah, oh, that's the door. Talk about talk about playing half blind. Oh, where is this guy? Is he gone? Ah. Used to be very fond of 
fond of this place. He would often come here to make paintings and sometimes would spend whole days here. It doesn't really agree with what the gardener said about women never coming out. The Black Mirror Castle. Really now? Who would have known? Statue. Henry. Hello? Do you need anything, sir? That picture behind us, Henry, when did William paint it? A long time ago, sir. When he still went out to the garden. Ah. Madam ordered me to leave it here, so I've been taking care of it. Sir William sure was talented. Don't you think, sir? Yes, mm. he was. Why doesn't anyone maintain the rear garden? I don't know, sir. Probably because <laughs> nobody ever goes there. And what about the fountain? There used to be fish in it once. I have no problem with the real garden as such, but I want you to clean the fountain. But, sir, isn't that rather futile? <laughs> I mean, it can't even be seen from the front. It's going to be a lot of wasted work. Either you clean it by tomorrow, or you can start looking for a new job. Whoa. As you wish, sir. You don't even know if you'll stay here. I will leave you to your work. <sighs> oh, God. I didn't remember that. He isn't even going to stay there. He, or, or he's not certain if he wants to stay there. And he's commanding the poor man as if he owned the place. Which he probably will one day. Oh, Christ. Let's just go. Um, We have a hammer. We can open the gate. Gate? Door. Thing. be a good idea. Uh, I'm trying to think ahead. I'm trying to remember what was in that room, but I haven't the faintest idea. I don't have anything else. Like a key to the chest. Now, do something. <laughs> Alright. The path is free of obstacles. And in we go. locked. <laughs> I oh have no God. idea where the key could be. I should ask Victoria. Alright. I have you? no idea. No. I should. Victoria was in the common room whilst we saw her. I think. Yes. There. Dining room, library. Dining room, library, dining room, upstairs. I think that would be the right place yeah indeed I know I should leave Victoria alone but I must ask her about the key to William's study in the tower oh, 
can't do that. And we can use that moment to take a good look around here. I have nothing to look for in these drawers. It most likely contains Victoria's personal things. Wouldn't they be in her room? I won't be opening it. One of my distant ancestors, Durgham Gordon. This canvas is at least 300 years old. Strange that time has not faded it. Durgham Gordon. So we've heard. Hmm. In the past, we used to have our own stable of full-blooded stallions. Some of them won many races. All that fame is long lost now. A souvenir of one of our champion horses. Lucky Arrow. Nine victories in one season. I can't remember the name. Probably one of the older stallions. Yes, 1890. Lucky Arrow, 1890. An old issue of a magazine on nature. Nature will. There is nothing interesting in the magazine. Oh, I died. Let's talk to her. Victoria, I know you want to be alone, but I must ask you about something that only you can answer. Maybe it will help to get some fresh thoughts. Memories can become so tiring. During the last few years, I have had plenty of time with my thoughts. What is it that you want to talk about, Samuel? Oh, that's a lot. Victoria, why was William hiding away in his study? No one saw him go outside, and he would not let anyone in. Why all the secrecy? I don't know, Samuel. About half a year ago, he closed himself in that damn tower and spent whole days and nights there. He never told me what he was doing. When I asked, he merely stated that he was looking for the truth and that he would not stop until he found it. It entirely absorbed him, and you know how it ended. I hope that he has found his truth. I hoped I would not have to return to this place ever again. And even now, I'm not sure if I should have. I did not dare hope you would come. The letters to you were all returned, and no one from the family had seen you in years. As time passed, we assumed you were dead. I didn't open a single one of them. I wanted to forget it all. Only that morning letter. I had to open that one. Maybe I should have left it unread, like the other ones. Your words are cold, Samuel. If it hadn't been for William's death, I would have never returned. I returned because of William only. I don't expect you to understand it. Bates isn't looking well. He's old and very tired. He should take a rest. I would suggest that to him myself, but I know he does not want to be alone right now. He and William were friends long before I knew him. He has worked here all his life, just like his father before him. He feels comfortable to be with us, I am sure. Okay. I think the key topic upsets her, and so I the photographs, I'll do the safe things first. That person who was with us at the funeral, who is he? Dr. Herman, our family physician. But it would be more accurate to say, our family friend. I had never heard of him. Well, how could you? He moved here long after you had gone away. He's a good man. He was a friend to William and has helped us a good deal. Until William began avoiding people, they were often together. Why are you interested in Heinz? I don't know him, so I wanted to know who he is. Do you need anything, Victoria? No, thank you, Samuel. I am all right. Maybe just... No, you needn't worry. I'll ask Bates. I spoke with Robert about the old wing. He said its walls were the only remnants of the original castle. That is true. It is all that survived the burn. 
I do not recall anyone that had conquered the castle in the past. No one conquered it, at least not in the true sense of the word. The castle was half destroyed in a conflict between the first Gordons. Marcus knew he could not rise against his brother's people directly. Therefore, he decided to take him by surprise in a secret chapel deep under the castle. Mordred realized this too late and the consequences were terrible. But those are merely old legends. Just old stories. That secret chapel you have spoken of, it must be somewhere beneath us. Nobody has ever found a trace of the entrance, let alone the whole chapel, Samuel. It's merely an old legend from the Chronicle. What happened to Marcus after Mordred died? He became the lord of the manor and died a long time later, a tired old man. As a tribute to his leadership, they buried him in a secret crypt. Today no one knows where his body rests. Do any further records of his life still exist? None that I know of. Can you have a look at this picture? Do you know who this man is? Hmm. I've seen that face before. Yes, but not exactly this one. What do you mean? He was much younger than this picture, but it was the same person. So, who is it? William once brought an orphan here and offered him food and shelter for a couple of days. He lived for a time outside by the stable, a humble, quiet boy. Do you know what his name was? It was a very long time ago. I cannot remember. He stayed with us for quite some time. But then he completely changed. It was as if he had gone mad. We could not let him stay here after that. They took him to Ashbury. What happened to him then? I really do not know. As I said, it was a very long time ago. Robert might remember. It was he who accepted that boy as a patient. Victoria, I need the key to William's study. I know that you insist that no one go in there, but... No one is allowed to set foot in there. Why are you talking about that place to me, Samuel? Why are you making me think of it? I just wanted... Go away. I need to be alone now. Of course. Hmm. Alright, apparently we were kicked out. Yes, I remembered that correctly. And my time is up, which means I'm interrupting here. This was Salvation and Black Mirror. Goodbye.